At first glance, this looks like an affluent girls' school in an upscale neighborhood of Lahore. It teaches a local and international curriculum, has well-kept grounds, happy students, and a dedicated and disciplined staff. But Sanjan Nagar School is in one of the poorest neighborhoods in Lahore, and it runs entirely on donations. It also provides a much-needed alternative to the state system. In my opinion, there is a uh, dire need of a drastic change, a drastic uh, uh, planning in this education sector. Because this education sector uh, must be given importance and then we will um, cope with the modern technological world. The school inspires loyalty and students love being here. Like here you get the so much facilities and it led the students to enhance their confidence level as well as to know about their talent and to come up with new ideas and thought. But this school is the exception, not the rule. Most government-run schools look like this one, just a few streets away. The official statistics are as grim as this classroom. According to the Education Ministry, only 26% of girls of school age have basic literacy. The headmaster here says girls' education is simply not a priority for poor families and therefore the government. The government is part of our society. The mindset is that girls don't spend time in workplace. So why educate them? This does need to change, but I can't see it changing. In many ways, this neighborhood is typical of neighborhoods across Pakistan. What the poor here will tell you is that they're faced with a dilemma. Now, if they educate boys, those boys can go out and get low-paying jobs. But there are very few low-paying jobs for girls, so their education simply isn't a priority. But culture also plays a part. In poor areas, girls simply stay at home, educated in another way to become homemakers and mothers. All of Pakistan's main parties say the education of girls is a priority, but not one of them has proposed a plan to make that happen. Imran Khan, Al Jazeera, Lahore.